What up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Kaiju number eight. Today we're doing episodes 11 and 12. Remember to check out that Patreon if you guys want early access and the full uncut versions of these reactions, as well as all movies and everything on the channel. Check out that Twitch if you guys want to watch these live with us before we even post it on Patreon. I'm not gonna watch, I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. Let's hop right to today's episodes. Let's do it. All right, here we go. They've apprehended Kafka. Wait, is this Shinomiya's dad? I saw the name Shinomiya. Is that Shinomiya's dad? All right, episode 11, Kaiju number eight, captured. I'm hoping this is one of those situations where we can win them over morally, but I'm thinking it's more like Yuji and Yuta and JJK where it's just too dangerous, you know? Shinomiya, it's, and it makes more sense why she would know certain little details like that, you know, especially with her dad's position. So weird with Ichikawa right there. I wouldn't either. I would try to look out for him as much as possible right here. I would just not involve him at all. This is all me. I wouldn't involve Shinomiya either. This is all Kafka. I have no friends. You did not need to do that, but you are a W man's, and I've said that since episode two, Ichikawa. Good. W, Mina. W. Awesome. Good. We have successfully won them over with our actions so far. Great. Great. That's the biggest question he has. That's the thing he's been wanting for 20 plus years. Is that still a possibility in his life? Good, good. As long as even that glimmer of hope is still there, he'll keep fighting and pushing, you know? W3rd. W3rd squad. Damn. 30 metal bulkhead walls in between. Uh, he's still probably be able to bust through all those, I won't lie. <laughs> Knowing fucking uh, Kafka. I wonder if Shinomiya is going to try to ask her dad for any favors. Oh, that would be very brazen of her to do that. Use his official title here. He's not dad. I respect it. I do love Shinomiya. Is that a core? does make more i knew her mom had died but it makes much more sense that kaiju killed her with how serious and how much against failure he is especially in this line of work it's all making sense i like a lot of the characters in the show like how they are all very complex and have issues they're dealing with you know w w shinomiya even though she just got told some crazy info still believes in him I was about to say, they're really going out of their way to help Kafka. I appreciate that. He did say that. Is it going to help Shinomiya's dad? I don't like that he's wearing that, though. He looks like he's about to beat some ass. Director General. And she's watching? Oh, no. I definitely rec recognize his voice actor and Shinomiya's. Like, older she Papa Shinomiya. This is going to be a test for him. If Kafka fights back and tries to escape, then there we go. What are they? They need to get uh, approval to even unlock this stuff? What is it? Okay, Vi. This is the wrong show. This ain't Arcane, buddy. Kaiju number twos?
What in the hell? What in the hell? Well, they use kaiju number two cells to make that weapon, but what is that? Ooh. This animation is going crazy right now. Oh my god. Yeah, it's treating his body because he's made with Kaiju number two cells, right? 72? It's that old? Does that not sound like Godzilla's theme? The suit and arms. Only one ever. Kaiju number two. Oh, he's blowing arms off. Identified kaiju weapons, yup. The full transformation. Is he is Kafka not in control right now? What is going on? Oh, we actually get to see what it's like for him in it's like this is literally kurama he's going tailed beast form he can't control he's going four tails it's the little guy he ate in episode one right Did she break him out of that? Please stop this man. Oh. All right. This is the final episode. Episode 12. This might, this might not go. So much more instinct. A human can't do that. So there's not an opening that he can make if he can just turn a full 360 like that. What the fuck? Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> Bro, oh, they're going to destroy this whole shelter <laughs> across time. I love how we get the imagery of Kaiju number two. Oh, it's huge. I never expected it to get bigger. I do love the imagery of using like the old kaiju that it's based off of, you know? You got bijou bombs in here? Bro, what is going to happen to Shinomiya's dad? It, uh, is that what is what means it? What does it mean if he eats us? Because we ate him in the first episode. Now, he... I'm so curious. I need to know more about this little kaiju motherfucker in general, bro. He just ate us. Like, what is your goal, buddy? Is that a young him? That's Mina. You can still stand by her side, my friend. He punched himself. Yeah. I'm human. I 
even when pushed to that limit, you know, he, he somehow broke through. And I'm so curious. It gives me Attack on Titan vibes where I want to know the lore. I need to know more. First off, that's a dope ass weapon. Narumi. I like his design a lot. He looks like he's going to be gangster, especially with that sword. And if he's right under Shinomiya. That struck a nerve in Shinomiya. No matter the obstacles put in front of him, he always fights through it, you know? Makes him more of a defense officer than anyone, you know? Oh, I love that transition. That was her cat, right? Oh. Oh. I like how most of everyone is against him, but it's going to be it's going to be uh, Shinomiya's father who makes the ultimate decision. Be used as a living weapon. Continue to be a member of this force. Respect that. He's like, you don't, you don't understand how hard your punches hurt. Oh, he would have felt so bad for Shinomiya. I don't think that's a bad thing, though. You're a kaiju, but we're still going to... Right? I guess clear you're not human. If you had a heart, you would have died, but... Especially during that live test with Yujin Kaiju number two's weaponry seeing the potential of kaiju number eight if he's fully masters everything he'll be beyond Aaron. like he'll be he'll be oh my he'll be the strongest person you've ever seen that's a good point i would no i i've forgotten can you tell me That was number six. I, I like I like his reasoning. Like fuck what we knew, fuck presidents, precedents. We're we're worried about the defense of a nation and something we know nothing about. I like that, I like that. We've hit the end of season one. It feels like this is the great setup for it. Like, we're officially a member now. We're officially part. They know we can start training. Like, it's like, this is a huge milestone for us. Right? That was the scariest thing she's ever seen. Ichikawa and Iharu. About to find out. <laughs> I love how much he's growing on everyone, you know? Everyone wanted him to survive, you know? Knew he would be. Come on. Man's so happy he fell asleep. He was like, nah, this is a good season. He's like, this is a good spot to end. This is a good season. I mean, it shows how calculating he is, you know, just playing chess like that, so. He's playing 12 games at once. Wait, is he cloning himself? Is he talking to himself? Okay, okay. That was a good little cliffhanger. I'm ready.
All right. I thoroughly enjoyed the way we were able to win them over. And I love how it gets physical and metaphorical. Like when it comes to Kafka having a heart, like he doesn't physically have a heart. He has a core now. But because he has the most heart of any member in the in the defense force, like they, you know, they love him. And I really appreciate that. And I really am enjoying Shinomiya's dad. I wonder how that's going to go. Obviously, I love Shinomiya, Ichikawa, Aoi, Iharu, Mina, Ho there's a plethora of great side characters that I like in this. Animation is fantastic. The music is great. The story is just enough of a mystery box to me that I'm super hooked and I'm super intrigued as to know more, but also gives you enough where you're like, ooh, okay, ooh, okay. So overall, I enjoyed. Hopefully you guys did as well. If you did, please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Check out that Patreon for the early access, full uncuts. Check out the uh, Twitch if you guys want to watch these live lists beforehand. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day after squad.